A product of Rafael in Israel, the Spike NLOS is a long-range anti-tank guided missile ATGM, system employed by a wide range of launch platforms, including helicopters, tank destroyers, light vehicles, and even watercraft. NLOS is shorthand for non-line of sight, a reference to the spike NLOS over the horizon range and indirect attack capabilities. It is named the Tammuz in Israel Defense Forces, IDF, service, the Exactor in British service, and the Typhoon in Azerbaijani service. In 2009, Flight Global reported that Rafael revealed the existence of a new, longer-range version of the Spike series of missiles. While the other models had ranges of up to 8 kilometers, the new missile, dubbed the Spike NLOS, reportedly had a range of 25 kilometers. This was no small surprise to the global military community, given that the same report also noted that the U.S. Army had been struggling to develop missiles with comparable ranges for many years, the JCM and JAGM programs were mentioned. However, the truth behind the origins of the Spike NLOS weren't publicly disclosed until 2011, and it proved even more surprising, development of the Spike NLOS had actually begun in the mid-1970s, and was strongly influenced by the IDF's experience with ATGMs during the Yom Kippur War. It can be surmised that they took this experience seriously, as much of it was gained on the receiving end, IDF tank losses were notoriously heavy during this war, especially from Arab ATGMs, and Israeli tankers ended up suffering over 75% of all personnel casualties in the IDF. The IDF's own anti-tank combat experiences often occurred at relatively close range, and highlighted a need for a weapon with a longer reach. It is also probable that the Spike NLOS was at least partially derived from, or at least influenced by, the American FOGM missile, another extremely long-range ATGM, guided by camera via fiber-optic wire, for a number of reasons. First, these missiles very strongly resemble one another in both form and function, all the way down to their launch tubes and extremely long spring-out crucifix fins. Second, their development timelines overlap very closely, and the FOGM was mature enough by 1980 that it could likely have entered service in 1981 as well. Third, the US and Israel had extremely strong political and military ties in the 1970s, which cannot be overstated, arms from many nations had been exported to Israel since its founding. But the Eastern Bloc threw in their lot with the Arabs instead in the late 1950s, while British and French arms exports essentially turned against Israel, for example, the IDF were quite livid when the Chieftain Tank and Mirage V fighter both designed, developed, and produced exclusively for Israel, with extensive IDF input into their designs during their development were instead given to Arab nations. It's no accident that the US was the almost exclusive provider of arms to Israel since 1967, nor that relationship became close enough that US military equipment and were airlifted directly into Israel during the fighting in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Whatever the truth behind the Spike Mlo's origins, there is no denying that the IDF was astonishingly effective in keeping its existence secret, even though it was used in combat for almost three decades. Another secrecy coup was the identity of the ATGM carrier originally developed especially to use the Spike NLOS. Nicknamed the Parade in IDF service, this vehicle externally appeared to be an ordinary Magic 5, IDF version of the M48A5 Patton, but it had a dummy gun, and concealed, pop-up, launchers were built directly into the turret roof. This ruse was so effective that the IDF did not disclose the identity or nature of this vehicle until 2014, years after even the Spike NLOS itself was declassified.